We spent the morning looking for water bucks. We had haven't had trouble uh, trying to locate them. We've spotted them here and there and, and, and tried to get a stalk on them, but they, they seem to be pretty elusive. And we changed our game plan this afternoon, found a bunch of water buck tracks in this old cow pasture that uh, the local farmer was using that uh, they were supplemental feeding and they had a water hole there. We moved back into a blind that had been set about 100 yards uh, away for us. And, you know, immediately when we're sitting there, uh, a few warthogs come in to keep us occupied for a little while. Um, in the heat of the midday, Gilliam and, uh, and I both uh, fell asleep. Got comfortable and not long after that, cows came out. We know it's just a matter of time before a big bull will follow. A cow and a few fawns and then a few more cows filtered in. So some time went by, maybe an hour or so, and Chad looked out the little window he has. And all of a sudden I saw this great big water buck. So Bilam takes a quick look at it and he's like, that's definitely a shooter. As soon as I saw that water buck, I got really excited. You know, we've been sitting for a few hours and, and done a ton of action. And the first buck that shows up is a, is a shooter. It's a, it's a really nice one. So I got steady on the sticks. And we didn't want to take a cutting away shot as we were afraid that the bullet might go through his horns. That uh, happens quite a lot. As soon as he quartered enough, I, I put the crosshairs right where it could exit out his back leg. He just jumped up. You see where he hunched? and his front shoulders that it was a real solid hit. 